Hey, how's it going everybody? Ben Burrito here with uh, Keller Williams Realty. It is uh, Saturday, October uh, 6th, and I wanted to give you a quick market update, okay? I was going to try to shoot this really uh, nice market update video, but the fact of the matter is that stuff doesn't really matter. Uh, it doesn't seem to catch any more views than uh, any other video does. So how about I just tell you guys what's going on in the market in a very casual Saturday morning kind of way. Alright, so uh, this, uh, this is a quick market report for Knoxville. Um, if you're ever interested in a more specific area outside of the, the broader Knoxville metropolitan area in Knox County, let me know and we'll do that. Um, but uh, for now, this is focused on single family homes and uh, in the month of September, uh, the absorption rate was 4.48. Last year at this time it was 5.12. And what the absorption rate basically is, is saying that uh, if, if no new homes were to come to market, it would take four and basically four and a half months for all the current homes to sell, which is pretty good. That means, uh, you know, we're selling homes at a nice little clip, uh, but at 4.48 means we're also in a balanced market. Now it's no longer a seller's market. We're still slightly more of a seller's market, but we're, we're moving pretty close. We're like pretty close to the, the to a, 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 a level market where the the buyers and the inventory are are matched pretty well. So if you're a buyer and you're looking to find a home, you, you're not going to run into as many uh, situations where you're uh, in a bidding war or you can't find the home you're looking for because everyone that you seem to find ends up selling before you get a chance to look at it. So you won't run into that issue too much like you have been to, for most of the year. Um, for sellers, what that means is, you know, your house might sit on the market a little longer than it used to, which will take me to the, we'll, we'll get to those numbers in a second, um, average days on the market. But, uh, you know, last, last, uh, few months that we've been well below 30 days usually in the more of the 20 day mark on average days on market and I'll just go ahead and tell you right now for se for last month in September uh, average days on market was 48 okay 48 days so that's a big difference from just a few months back in August um, last year though we were at 65 days average on market so it's still a way better year than last year to sell your home um, so the average price uh, for the Knox County area is $322,000, $322,016 to be exact. Um, so uh, what that means is, you know, the average of all the homes for sale is $322,000. Uh, the median listing price is $229,000. If you don't know the difference between average and median, basically average, you add them all up, you divide them by the number of homes, it gives you the uh, average of all those homes uh, sales price. Median is you just line them all up um, and the number in the middle is the median. So the median is 229.9. Uh, uh, either number, I mean, I don't know if there's really a better number to use. Uh, most people use the average sales price. Uh, I, I don't really think most anybody really uses median. Um, I'm sorry, that's the average list price. I just told you wrong. That's the average list price. So 322000 is the average price that people are trying to sell their home for. The average sales price is 224000 So what that means is people are listing their home, and uh, for the most part, they're having to drop the price. Uh, buyers are negotiating well, and they're, they're, they're talking sellers down. Um, and Or more homes at higher prices are not selling and there may be expiring, being canceled, uh, and more, a lot more homes uh, in the lower price range are selling. And, and for Knoxville overall for the year, on average over time, the average uh, sales price for Knoxville is really uh, around 180000 I could give you that price, but it'll take me a few minutes to look it up uh, exactly. But uh, it's less than 200000 So that kind of matches because more homes are selling probably in the $200,000 area than they are in the $350,000 area, uh, which matches the demographics uh, for this area because we're a middle-class, working-class uh, town, uh, and uh, 
you know, us blue collar hard uh, people that uh, clock in nine to five and, and sweat for a living greatly outnumber those that do not and, and have a little bit of wealth. Um, so yeah, it makes sense that the average sales price will be lower than the average list price. So uh, that's the that's the market report uh, for this month. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to call me. If you want any more details about maybe your specific area, if you live in Corrington, if you live in Sevierville, Seymour, somewhere like that, I can definitely get you those numbers as well. Um, and uh, I hope you found that interesting. I, I think it's it's interesting to follow these numbers. And uh, in the meantime, if you need anything, anything at all, real estate related or not, you know who to call. Call me. All right, guys. I hope you're enjoying your Saturday. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. And I'll talk to you soon.